Hey there everyone, this is Ogao playing Sonic Unleashed. Last time we ran in the sand and on stone and like around like an aqueduct. Lots of fun, I can find it. But I, I also have access to, and I could go there, but I can speak to the nighttime version of Shamar and maybe we'll unlock the other door here. I don't know, let's check out Palm Tree Square at night. Watch you uh, sneezing. Upside down by that earthquake. Uh, I don't know, I was just sneezing, man. People of Shamar, they just can't stop sneezing. That's their thing. Hey, it's the assistant. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I may not be on much assistance. I mean, I found it. I just need, I, I need like the way to unlock nighttime though. You know, that's what I kind of want to do now. Like, I'd like to just go through this place for moving on next place, not being ping pong all over the place. So, you know, I'm surprised that economy is still thriving. <laughs> Not worry about anything except tourism, which I guess is a subset of the economy, so never mind. I'm glad I got- mm-hmm. Do I? How much longer do I have to go, would you say? I think food market is new. Maybe? Whoa! Alright. Old man Isan. He's taking a shine to you. All right, just immediately, you know? I'm just so fuzzy, like his grandkid. <laughs> and blue, like his grandkid. Uh, all right. Okay, certainly. Why? Why do you just have all the tablets? No, okay, it's a soundtrack. Okay, that's just partially weird. Uh, but there's, oh, the new is at Palm Tree Square. So you can get unlocks, just returning to place. That's pretty good. Search for the temples of Gaia. Achoo! Uh huh, alright. Naturally, of course. Uh, naturally! Everyone's got all these tablets. Oh, he's so sneezy! Uh, it's making he's allergic to stone, you see? And it's like that thing is like all stone and a little bit of moon breathing. Oh my gosh, there's a secret shrine. I've been there before, but it's new again. <laughs> what is old was once new. That's just fat. Like, that's just time. Passage of time. Then struggle to load. Stories told. Forever retold. Okay, none of the doors seem lit up. That's fortunate. Look at that, it's the moon door. I'm gonna press the R button and Chip is gonna be there. Little animation full of despair. Alright, desert at night. Well, we got our fur coat on, so we should be comfy. It's a dry cold, though. I don't think I've ever experienced a dry cold. Ooh, the jazz! Arid sand! The city of sand! Alright, yeah, it's the nightlife, alright, right here. Music takes a little bit of the start, but that's okay. Check it out, we're here somewhere. Ah, destroy private property! That's what we do. Whoa. It's battle time! Ooh, big guy, alright. It's been about- oh no, I hope it's not- I feel like it's been a while since we've had like a focused Werehog level, you know? Like, I feel like up to now, like like in Sand Zone and all that, uh, Ice Zone rather, like we've been mostly doing uh, what amounted to platforming, like lots of platforming. Like battles happen, but it were like basically incidental, it felt like. Here I'm getting way more of Brawler time TV here. Better get your socks of, of nuggets ready, because you put your nuggets in your socks. Like, where else would you put them? Please be realistic about your depiction of modern youth. Just jumped off here, don't mind me. So I got Okay, we're not anymore. Like, I thought the Jazz Ensemble were still going. I thought, whoa. Is this really just gonna keep on going for the rest of the level? No, we gotta do a little jumping here. This game does a weird thing with... Like, you can see it here, right? Like, there's this weird, like, reflection around all the rings and just objects in general. And it looks kind of bad. Alright, so there's... Is there something hidden on here? Oh, well, there's this. Alright, you can go on a box. Go on a box, and jump and get the XP. Oh boy! I said, oh boy. Anything else here? I was so proud about doing my little, uh, my little dash jump. Not even rewarded for it. I would have been punished if I just stuck to it. Ridiculous! 
that's the world. Yeah, everything just kind of like doubles up in a weird way that might be on purpose, but I think doesn't look very good. Can I not pick you up? Normally? Yeah. Chuck a bomb and then hit a B. That's how the world works nowadays, you know? This is uh, the prime way you can tell if you're growing old or not, is your attitude towards how to use a bomb that appeared next to you and has a pulsating hairdo. Alright, these now are the worst. It's gonna swat at you, okay? Oh, we don't mind. I hope I mind. I might and I have to. Alright, you know what? So, I'm gonna grab this here. I'm gonna try really hard. You know what? This urn doesn't want to be grabbed. You know, it could have been useful in our fight against the wasp invasion. It just breaks out nothing. You look at it here, then I jump into that B thing. A good time was had, maybe. Oh, here's a box I could have thrown instead. Well, I didn't. So, that's just how it is. Alright, I'm trying to pick up this bomb. Yeah, explosion. Doesn't look like the bomb explosion hurt me? Even though, like, the purpose of that bomb is probably to explode on me, so, you know. Kinda not great at its job kind of thing. Here's water you can step in. Slosh around, splash around, you know, having a good time. Oh, oh, oh can I wall jump? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. So I think I was supposed to grab those boxes, you know, and oh, but I still got this iron box, so nothing was learned. See, it could have been a lesson in making sure you don't just destroy everything as soon as you see it, but finding this metal crate undermines that lesson entirely. Ensuring that nothing is learned ever. Just kind of having a walk here, walking in the water. A new fight is going to start past this threshold. I was wrong. I'm glad to be wrong. So I'm not complaining. Alright, well I'm just going to destroy these for no reason. It's fun. That's a reason. It's okay to do things just because you find them enjoyable. And, uh, that's okay to think that it's okay. Well, of course I'd say that, considering I just said it myself. Uh, oh, cow. Uh, Alright, it's battle time versus the Crimson Avenger. That guy just went flying. What a fool. Sure am hidden buttons. Oh, uh, can testify that. Ooh, more guys respond, though. That's exciting. Yeah, look at that. Airborne. Launched. Uh, being launched is good for you. That is what I say to the Ministry of Health. Can I not climb this line, line, line post? It's like a land post, but for lime. I'm good at talking. My job is talking. You could really tell. Alright, let's go here. Alright, here's Turret Bob and his turret friend, Turret Bob. Well, that guy just fell. What an idiot. Alright, let's do that again on the other side. Don't mind me, buddy. Yeah, you just keep on hovering. Because if you fly off the scene, I can't kill you. Then I can't pass a threshold. It's particulous. So, I do wonder if, like, their locking ability is proximity based. I mean, in that case, it could just, like, close off a path at some point forever. But I don't know if their goal is explicitly to, like, stop me, though. Like, I think, like, the darkness is just there to be no good, right? Make people dance awkwardly in the middle of the night. Uh, that's really how you can describe evil to a certain subset of the population, and that's cool with me. Here's the end of the level. Oh, here's a ring here in the back. Here's a bunch of urns that I smash. Well, if the limit is six, I apologize. Oh, we have to fight! Never mind that. Oh, the food troop is here. Oh boy. Everyone's doing a dance while I sit there dumbfounded. That's how we know we got it covered. Ah, my earth jaws ensemble. There you go. Everyone works up. Whoa, why was I white? Because I took some damage. And it's just like, you know, instead of flashing, like an old school Genesis game, instead they make your texture flash. Which is good for, you know, if you're recording at weird frame rates, for example. Yeah, that can still happen, I'm sure. Alright, you, buddy. Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, please stop being, alright? Hey, the bomb doesn't count. 
Oh, maybe he does. Here's the virus from Dr. Mario. Always been a big fan of you. All right, where are you at? Hey, I blew up. Did I? Oh, I'm almost dead. Um, awkward. Oh, and I, why can I not unleash? Did I unleash? Yes, I did now, I guess. All right, you guys, get out of here. Thank you. All right, that'll help my health a little bit. Okay, then I lost damage, like, bump, cool juice. Okay, see, so yeah, you take a lot of damage in this form, and that's good. All right, well, there you go. That was big guy. I feels like it could have been scary, but I was not really scared. Oh, buddy, see? That's what being scared looks like. And that's not what I was doing. Hey, there we go. We did it! Just gonna scamper on over. Just a little scamper. Oh, we keep our Super Saiyan flames all around us, you know, as a ref- Hey, it's ran out. Do I- Oh, that's a lot of force, and I flew past it! What the heck? Not complaining, I'm just like, okay then. Uh, I feel like a lot of the wolf levels feel very the same. And because of a lot of them happen in cities, they also just kind of look the same. Like, the details between, like, nighttime Spagona and here, like, sure, like, key textures might differ on the road and stuff, but... Spin! But, like, it just doesn't mean all that much. There's a lot of upgrades, surprisingly. Huh. I'm... I'm a little surprised by that. Hey, secret movie! Am I ever gonna watch it? I'm gonna let the game answer. I shouldn't be that absolute about it. I know. Oh, look at those numbers, though. 44 and 33 is certain multiples of 11. That's fun. Is it? Why not? I get to decide what's fun for myself. Uh, 